the social cues that you are going to make a big difference when it comes to mental health. you spotted at Tito's Funhouse, said Marcus. What else can you remember about them? I told you, said Eric. It said, Madison, control. It had a lot of physical information, height and weight and blood pressure and all that. Not just simple readings, but changes over time. Madison and I would have been 10, maybe getting on to 11, just starting to go through puberty, so there were a lot of changes to track. At least half of it, though. Probably more than half of it was chemicals. Herbs, I guess, but she'd scrawled in some notes about different properties of each herb and different mixtures in her droppers from one time to the next. She was trying to find the right combination for something, and we got the deal. Their meaningless borders blurred together into a single, unbroken metropolis. When night fell again, they reached the edge of Manuka, and the road curved south around it and Kira looked out for the first time on open grassland stretching far into the west. The horizon was flat and formless, an ocean of dirt and grass and marshland. They slept in a giant warehouse, in what Kira assumed was an old break room for cross-country truckers, and listened as a rainstorm drummed furiously on the broad metal roof. Atha's wound was no better than the previous night, but at least it was no worse. Kira curled up on her bedroll and read by the light of the moon. A thriller novel she'd picked up in the library. I'm sure this... what you've told me, it's got to be more than that. If the board didn't know about the human failsafe, then the only one they could add to the new models was your decoy. The one